Hey, what's up everyone? This is Nitreg from Nitreg.com, and uh, today I'm going to be doing a minted poker review and uh, just kind of go over some pros and cons, what I like and what I don't like about it. Um, right now, minted poker is my uh, number one preferred site that I played on. That I play on. Um, I have most of my bankroll here, and it's a site that I've been playing on for a few months and uh, getting accustomed to a few things. Um, one of the things that I really like about Minted is they're, you know, they're really open to U.S. players, and the games are incredibly soft. Um, the they have a ton of Italian players on here, and I don't know why, but for some reason, Italian players seem to be, at least on this site, seem to be really, really bad. Um, I, it's it's kind of like maybe they just had like the poker boom there and all these new fresh new people come in to play and they don't really know 100% how to play it or something like that I'm not really sure but that's just my theory um, but basically the minted poker is on the Everleaf network and the Everleaf network is combined with a bunch of Italian networks and um, it just provides for really amazing game uh, gameplay in a lot of spots um, the one bad thing is that since we're relying so much on European fish, uh, specifically Italians, that the games don't run all the time. Like right now, it is uh, 10:43 p.m. at on uh, Pacific Standard Time in California. Um, there's not too many tables running. Like I just have between 4 and L and 20 and L. This is how many tables are running. Um, which isn't really a bad thing, like there's a decent number of tables, but uh, once it gets uh, to peak hours, like there's there's plenty of tables. Um, so if you're considering like Eastern time, um, if you're like in New York or something, uh, if it's like midnight all the way until maybe like one in the afternoon, the, the tables are, there's like tons of tables and the action is great. Um, between like maybe noon or one in the afternoon all the way until, I don't know, dinner time, um, the tables start to get pretty reg infested and once they get reg infested they kind of eat the last of the fish, fish's money, and then all the fish leave. Uh, and then after that, you know, the tables kind of die out. And towards the end of the night there's not that many tables, but the tables that are there are really soft. So, um, it it's really not that big of a deal. You just gotta kind of schedule your time a little differently. Um, I play a lot in the mornings now, and I used to play a lot at night, uh, and that and that's been really plus TV for for me. And then I just completely don't play at all, and uh, I just completely don't play at all at uh, at nights anymore. Um, other than like right now when I'm making a video or whatever. Um, so. I think that as long as you don't really mind playing in a, sp a specific, you know, maybe 16 hour time frame, then, you know, the minted poker is going to be the right choice for you. Um, one of the things you want to keep in mind when you're depositing is whatever way you deposit is the way that you're going to receive your um, withdrawals. So if you're not an American player, I would say go with money bookers since you get your money pretty fast that way and uh, things work out pretty well um, from what I've been hearing. For American players, uh, go ahead and do Western Union. Western Union is by far the best. Um, might be one of the only ways to do it. I I've always done Western Union. I've I've withdrawn, you know, several thousand dollars off of Western Union uh, through from into poker, um, and it's worked out perfectly for me. Uh, but the one thing that you want to remember is that whatever way you deposit is whatever way you have to draw. So what you can do is go down to a Western Union. Um, I think they're called like partners or something like that. Uh, but mine is basically in a supermarket that's right next to my house. Uh, there's another one that's like in a check cashing place or whatever. Um, you know, you could even go online to westernunion.com and do this, and it's super easy. Uh, what I did was just went to westernunion.com, but uh, I pick up my money in the supermarket. Um, kind of gives me an excuse to get out of the house and do stuff. Uh, but westernunion.com, if you go there, uh, they'll they'll give you instructions how to transfer your money. Um, really, really make sure that you transfer your um, your deposit in U.S. dollars and not in pesos. Um, some people have had problems depositing, and it's 
like 99.999% of the time, it's because people transfer in the pesos and not US dollars. And uh, the website, I, I'm not going to lie, like the Western Union website is really bad um, when it comes to that one specific area. It's really easy to uh, to transfer in pesos. So just double check that you are transferring US dollars and transfer whatever information that gives you. And within like 20 minutes, I was I was playing poker and I never had to really deposit again, so I've only had that one deposit experience, and uh, I guess one other deposit ex experience when uh, they had a reload bonus going. Um, with withdrawals are really awesome with Western Union. Um, historically, I've been getting like within two or three days, just having money, you know, pick up cash and at the supermarket, uh, and they have up to a thousand dollars. And it, it's really nice. It's it's been really really nice. Uh, lately, since Christmas, it's been kind of going downhill though. Uh, they've been having uh, delays because of the holidays. Um, it, it's taken up to like maybe two weeks now, which isn't really that big of a deal, but it's something you want to cons uh, consider. I mean, the alternatives though, if you think about it, like Cake Poker has. Uh, withdrawals that are taking like several months. Uh, Merge Network is probably one of the, s the second or third best, and it's taking like four to six weeks. Uh, hold on here. Oh, I'm gonna call down unless a club rolls off. Um, so the 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 Merge Network takes four like four to six weeks uh, as of now. And minted poker is taking sometimes two to three weeks. So if you can get kind of past that, then um, it's not a big deal. Is it's like better than the alternatives? But you know, you you just gotta. I guess it's just something you gotta put up with in this day and age. Oh, I guess he had the five. Good for him. Um. So. So I, I guess don't. You know, it's just it's. It's like a negative on fermented poker. I mean, it's a positive that it's it's two or three days, and they've historically done that for most of my transactions. It's just kind of right now it's a little bogged down, and I think it's going to come back. But you know, some people have their doubts um, that'll you know stay at twenty days forever or something like that. So I don't really know. Um, all I know is what my experience is, and you know, every every week or every other week I've been withdrawing from fermented poker, and it's been working out fine. And I, I don't really expect it to really change. Um, so, yeah, I the the only other times that I think have been going better for uh, or the better uh, cash out times are inner tops, and I haven't yet cashed out from inner tops. I'm uh, I actually just deposited the other day, and I'm gonna try to do like some sort of bankroll challenge on that. Um, but for inner tops, from what I hear, it takes just a few days for Western Union, um, like no more than five days, something like that. And uh, if you do wire transfer, it takes about a week or so, um, which is really good, like industry-wise. But the thing is, they they hit you up really hard for fees and with, with on with for uh, for withdrawing, whereas Minted Poker doesn't hit you up for any fees for withdrawing, which is really really nice. Um, Let's see some of the other things that I like about Minted Poker. I I really like the way that the tables are set up. I uh, I really like how it looks. It kind of reminds me of Poker Stars, which if you guys don't know is like my favorite site ever. Um, it's a little different, but you know it's it kind of has that same feel. Uh, I like how you can upload avatars. I 100% recommend having a tilting avatar. Like mine is Amanda Knox. If you don't know who she is, look her up. I um, think it's fitting for an Italian website to induce tilt. Um, one thing that you are going to have to get used to, though, is that they don't really have full ring tables that run that often. Um, every now and again, there will be a full ring table like the one I have up here in the top left, where there's just like one full ring table, and it's just a bunch of random people that are sitting down. Um, it doesn't run often, but when it does run, like don't be surprised if you're the only reg at the table. It's absolutely amazing. It's like playing live poker, but on the internet. Um, you're gonna completely love their full ring tables. Uh, there's they have a they usually have a lot of six max running and a lot of four max. Now four max is something that you have to get used to. It's if you're a six max player, you'll adjust to it pretty well, I think. 
Um, but for if you're a four ring player, you're going to be definitely be playing a lot more hands, so that might get a little annoying. Uh, I guess I have overs. Um, so get get used to uh, six max. Eh, just fold. Uh, get used to six max and uh, four max because those are going to be the best. And um, check out my other video that I did. That's going to be on this uh, page if you're at nitreact.com. Um, it, it explains to you how you can set up your HUD, um, and it's it's perfect so you don't get the four max and six max stats mixed because people play four max differently than they play six max, and you don't want to look at someone at 6 max and think that they're aggro when really they're just playing standard 4 max uh, strategy um, and vice versa so it, it's important that you guys watch that video and get that all hooked up um, one, th and one last thing that I really really hate about this site is the rake the rake is absolutely disgusting it's um, for the euro tables it is uh, 6% rake with no cap which most a lot of people think is ridiculous i think it's ridiculous but i put up with it because the games are just so soft that it's completely worth it for me um i kind of calculated it at like 20 and l um it's something like 12 percent or 12 bbs per hundred in rake that you're paying and when you're uh go ahead and see about here and when you're playing 50 and l it's going to be something like um, 10 BBs per 100 that you're pay uh, p paying for rake. So it's kind of brutal. Um, let me see what happens here. And... Nah, it's not going to fold. Wow. Okay. Um, so anyway, uh, rake is pretty pretty gross. The good news is that you get like ridiculous rake back here. You get forty percent rake back, and uh, they have some other bonuses too. Um, not very many other bonuses. Pretty much play for the forty percent rake back. Um, forty percent rake back is absolutely great, and you can get it if you sign up um, through my link, which is nitreg.com slash minted. And uh, I'll go ahead and hook you up with 40% rake back, and uh, you go ahead and get the deposit bonus as well. I think it's 100%, but don't quote me on that. I'll I'll uh, double check for you guys and put it in my uh, description down in the page below. Um, so you get all that. You get the deposit bonus. You get the the 40% rake back. Um, another good thing is that on the USD tables, um, you don't you 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 pay only up to a dollar rake back or sorry a dollar rake so that really helps you a lot um while grinding so uh play as many do dollar tables as you can the um the the euro tables will own you with with rake back but it's okay because 90 percent of the time you're gonna be playing against just mega fish that are dumping you their money um if you're a table with mostly regs it's completely okay just to sit out and find another table because rake back is so high that it makes your it, it makes your winnings not as good I guess um, you want to really consider how much you're actually losing to rake uh, because it's that's really important admitted um, I think I covered everything if not I'll go ahead and include it over um, over at this page uh, if you guys are watching this on nitrig.com, it's all on this page right here. And if you guys are on youtube.com, uh, go ahead and check the link in the description and you can find out more about uh, about Minted Poker and how to set up your HUD and a couple of tr troubleshooting things. Um, one last thing before I go, when you deposit vi via Western Union, um, Western Union charges you a $12 fee uh, I uh, to use their services, like that's how they make money, um, to transfer money. Um, if this is your first time depositing, go ahead and contact uh, Neil, N-E-I-L, at mintedpoker.eu and um, tell him that you want your... Uh, you want him to reimburse your fee and if you go ahead and email him and ask that, he'll go ahead and do that for you. Um, so uh, be sure if you do that 
to go that route and email Neil. Now it only works on your first deposit. Every other deposit after that, um, you're going to have to pay a large fee. Uh, so make sure you study up on itreg.com and uh, don't lose money and never have to redeposit again. So uh, that, that being said, um, if you're on YouTube, go ahead and check out uh, my other YouTube videos and subscribe if you like this video. It's up in the top left. Um, if you're on nitreg.com, um, you know, keep visiting it back, or if you don't want to constantly refresh nitreg.com every day, uh, go ahead and uh, sign up to my email list, and you'll, you know, I have some goodies planned for you guys coming up um, for that, but uh, you guys also get my, my newest email post. Uh, I'm sorry, my newest post updated um, to your email, and I, I post, like, really high-quality co content, um, uh, and, uh, you know, I come out with it maybe every other day or so, so um, I, I think you guys are going to enjoy it, you know, if you enjoyed this video and a couple of the other videos you guys have seen, that's the type of quality that I'm aspiring to come out with, so um, if you like it, go ahead and sign up. Uh, it also lets me know how many followers there are and kind of inspires me to make a little bit more videos. Alright um, guys, I hope you enjoyed this and uh, with that being said, I hope you guys uh, consider coming over at Minted Poker. Um, this is Nitrig from Nitrig.com and I'll see you guys at the tables.